yeah i just caught this guy on the trail so as you can see he's in a uh an area where there's a lot of pedestrian traffic so what i'll do is uh tomorrow i guess i have a reason to head up to my spot take this guy up to higher country um having him around here is just not going to be good for him in the end result he won't be able to live a long uh, life so now he will anyways i'll be back nice little guy fresh off the trail so <clears throat> i'm uh to the trail end now it's a real tight trail that's overgrown and a little bit tight so i'm heading back up to a location where i released that last california king i caught another one yesterday um, during my hike on the way home super close to the golf course <coughs> that uh, a lot of people frequent that area and i've I found too many dead king snakes there from people who don't know what's going on and they they kill them any type of snake right um so again i'm taking him up in the the valley up here it's about another two miles up and uh to release him you know king snakes can live up to 20 years in the wild actually about 15 in captivity or vice versa but anyways i just want to ensure that this guy uh has a good life right and has a fighting chance to grow so anyways i'll check in later a lot of rattlesnakes on this trail You know, here's a tip of the day for you. When you're on a trail like this, and you have the shaded side to your right, try to stay to the left in the sun because just like humans, <clears throat> the rattlesnakes and all the reptiles, they, from my experience, I always spot them on the right side where the shade is. So it just depends on, you know, your logistics, which way you're heading, all that other stuff. So, in addition to, um, go out and buy yourself some snake protectors for your legs like I have. These are uh, very comfortable to hike in, and it's insurance, because you just never know if you are going to run into one or surprise one or step on one. Most likely, it'll be you stepped on one. Anyways, remember, stay away from the shaded areas of the trail. That's where they're sitting at, and they're coiled up. Still going. It looks like somebody did a little bit of a trail clearing, so that's good. Helps me out a lot. Ooh, there's something in the road. Oh, okay, it's a stick. I'm always looking about 10 to 15 yards in front of me um, on the trail. And then I scan left to right. So, <clears throat> anyways, still going. Oh, I see they put a new sock up there. I'm almost there. Anyways, I'll be back. Final leg. That's kind of creepy. A couple of ravens sitting up here on the signs. Go away, guys. Yes. Boy, I kicked my butt again today. Last time I was up here, I did the same thing. <clears throat> Anyways, remember, hey, you get up here, right? Or to any point on any hike, and you're tired and you see those benches, right? And you just want to sit down. Don't sit down until you clear your benches. 
So anyways, I'll be back. All clear. Now I can sit down and enjoy the view. And it's a beaut. Oh, I missed that lizard. There's one underneath there. Um, oh, the view of San Fernando Valley is absolutely amazing. Very quiet, peaceful. Up on Nolan's Mountain, as they call it. Looks like they put a new air sock in. There's a pomegranate tree, another bench, another bench, and then you can't see the poles unless I zoom in, but, you know, there's a little horseshoe kit up here. There's an easy up underneath there that uh, you can use for shade, and they have water to water the pomegranate tree, so it'll give you shade in the years to come. Anyway, so I'm going to sit down for a minute, enjoy the view. Then I'm going to drop down into the valley over here and uh, <clears throat> release the king snake. He's in uh, that sack right there. So, anyways, thanks for following along. I really appreciate it. I just want everybody to always be safe while they're hiking and um, always have a, an awareness, right? Talk to you soon. This guy is totally docile. Um, Just a little one. These are the best snakes ever. <clears throat> Anyways, I'll uh, show a video of me finally releasing him. Just thought I'd spend a few minutes with him before I let him go. Well, this is uh, <clears throat> this is about as good of a place as. Uh, you could get. I dropped down into the valley. I was up there by that sock. I don't know if you can see it, but so I dropped down and uh, nice little valley here. So I'll uh, I'll let him go here. A lot of brush, a lot of cover. So the hawks and or ravens, any bird of prey can't get to him. So trail is really washed out, not washed out, but overgrown. So, I'll let him go here. All right. There you go, little guy. <clears throat> Grow up to be big. I didn't say go back right towards me. There you go. Now, he's only about... I don't know, 18 inches. Um, it's just so nice to see them. <clears throat> there would be years where I wouldn't see a single one. Uh, I guess that's why I'm so passionate about making sure that these guys get a fighting chance. And we've encroached so much of their territory. Um, so... Now he's got a good home. It's pretty amazing how they just disappear. There he goes. All right. Gone. All right, now to get myself home safely. <clears throat> I think what I'm going to do, because there's so many rattlesnakes up here, um, I'm just going to go ahead and go back the way I came. Um, instead of doing the loop. So... Thanks for hanging out with me. Talk to you later.